Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a video on introduction to menstrual cups. What is it? Why should we use it? And how do we use it? Sanitary pads are very harmful for our health and the environment. There have been a lot of articles recently, so I'm sure most of you know that uh, they don't decompose for 5 to 800 of years. They are uh, having negative effects on our health. We get rashes and even long term illnesses like cancers are associated with sanitary pads. They are being burnt or incinerated which are uh, releasing very toxic gases in the environment which are also leading to numerous diseases and health problems. Menstrual cups are made of medical grade materials so it's totally safe to be worn internally in the body. And uh, medical grade silicone is very similar to the material that is used for uh, making baby bottle nipples. So it's a very soft material. Sometimes people get scared or it looks really big and huge. How am I supposed to insert that? But it's soft so you can easily fold it. It becomes a lot smaller when it's inserted it opens up. To wear a menstrual cup, you need to fold it like this. Or you can fold like that and you can figure out your own ways to fold it as well. So once you fold it, the entrance becomes a little smaller. So you fold it, you insert it like that and then it will open up inside and it will form a seal with the vaginal wall and collect your menstrual blood it will get full in three to ten hours depending on your flow so when it gets full you're supposed to pinch the base to break that seal which it formed and slightly fold it like this and take it out you wash uh, you empty it you wash it and wear it again in case uh, once you wear sometimes there's a possibility that you know it stays unfolded like that doesn't open in that case to make sure it opens up you can pinch the base or slightly rotate the cup or move it slightly in and out so one of these things will make sure that your cup pops open and forms a good seal with the wall and same case when you're removing you need to pinch it and press it slightly so that it becomes into that fold again and then you take it out once you remove the cup, you only need to wash it with plain water. You can use mild soaps once in, once in a while if you really want to, but just washing with plain water is fine. If you have access to hot water, that is also good. You can wash it with hot water as well. And once a month, you can sterilize it in boiling water or even just soaking in boiling water for 5-10 minutes helps kill the bacteria in the cup. So you can boil it after every cycle or before your next cycle and store it in the cloth bag that comes with the cup. A lot of the times I get asked if women can pee while wearing the cup. Uh, you certainly can, you don't need to remove the cup to pee because if we look at the female reproductive system, this is the urinary bladder and urethra, that is where we pee from and this is the uterus, cervix and vagina. So during periods, the blood comes from the uterus through the cervix and exits the body from the vagina and that is where we wear the cup. So your cup is lying here and you pee from urethra so it has uh, no connection you can easily go to the toilet you can pee or poo with the cup on another common question we get asked is if you can wear a cup with a copper tea or iud inserted uh, yes you can mostly women are using it successfully along with their copper teas so if you notice the copper tea is inserted inside the uterus and it has a string that comes down to the cervix and sometimes it's kept quite long so you will have to tell your gynae to cut the string short like very close to the cervix so when you're wearing the cup and when you pinch and remove the string doesn't get stuck in the cup and the copper tea doesn't get uh, dislodged because of removing the cup. One more tip I'd like to say is that uh, all, every woman is different so one size cup cannot fit all of us. Menstrual cups come in a lot of different sizes, different diameters, different lengths. So it is better that you do your own research, invest some time in figuring out which cup will be more suitable for you before buying a cup. And you can even go to our website, we have a link called Choose Your Cup which helps you and guides you, gives you options on which cups will be more suitable for you as compared to some others. You can